All right, so hey guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are all doing well. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at this IWN Celsa Gaming PC. We're gonna be unboxing it. We're not gonna be doing the full review on that. That's gonna be a later video. Uh, I still have to write that whole script, testing and filming the B-roll. So that's gonna be a little bit of a more lengthy process than just me kind of taking this thing open, plugging it in, showing you guys kind of all the aesthetics and everything like that. So again, just make sure that if you are interested in seeing that video, uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell and the notification button so you guys get notified when that video does go live. And if you guys end up watching this video and enjoying it, please hit that like button. It really helps me out as a content creator. It helps this video get recommended to more people on the website. All right, now that we have all of that out of the way, let's get into the video. All right, so first thing is first, we have this little package that was in the top of this gaming PC. Now again, a little disclaimer, I have opened this thing up to make sure that the unboxing process is a little bit better and so that everything was intact when I got it because I don't think anybody wants to have to open up a PC and then everything's just broken on the inside just from chipping. Uh, we can talk about that a little bit later, but yeah, just for your information, this is pre-opened. I'm not one of those people that are just gonna repackage it and act like this is the first time I've seen it. I've seen the PC before, I made sure it turns on so everything is fine, but again, Again, yes, it's gonna be repackaged, but it's gonna look pretty similar to the way that I received the PC. All right, so first things first, we have this little envelope here. I don't know if this is just because this is a YouTuber thing, uh, if they write your name on it, or if they just kind of throw these little things into the box. I'm not 100% sure how that system works, but in terms of the contents and this little envelope, uh, we have this power cable, pretty standard. Um, you also get this HDMI cable, which is nice. It's included with every one of their PCs. Uh, and then you get a little brochure uh, that just kind of tells you about the PC, talks about the warranty, uh, and gives you some promo codes on it and just kind of gives them some business information and some contact information. So that's nice. And then it looks like we have some Wi-Fi antennas. So presumably this has Wi-Fi on it. Uh, which is nice because I'm not gonna be running a landline all the way up here just to get this thing powered on and do my testing. So it's nice that it's gonna have Wi-Fi. And then the very last thing in here is just a stack of cards. Um, not 100% sure what these are. Are they like business cards? Here, I'm gonna see if you guys can kind of see them. So they have this the logo on it. Um, I have some PCs and everything like that. Uh, this is next gen gaming PC special offer $20 off with a special code and then it kind of gives like a little autobiography on the back of it that they wrote for themselves and then a signature of signature of someone on the back not 100% sure what these cards are for but I'm sure IWN has kind of been present in my comment section so I'm sure they'll probably clear up that confusion uh, if you guys are interested. All right, so now that envelope is all empty, um, we'll start opening up the gaming PC. All right, so first thing, I put on some gloves just because I don't wanna get any fingerprints on this thing before I start shooting any B-roll for it. Uh, so if you guys are wondering why I have these on, that's the main reason. All right, so now in terms of how this thing is packaged, um, it went okay, so I think this is the bottom. Hopefully I don't drop this thing. Ugh. Yeah, so this one's a bit heavier than the, than the other ones I have gotten. Actually, no, the CLX one I had before this was, was probably the heaviest. That one had a 3090 in it, but um, this IWM one definitely isn't a slouch. Maybe I could probably reorient this because the flaps are all open. And I know I'm gonna mess up this tablecloth and stuff like that, so I'll try to refix that once I get this thing out of the box. All right, so we got this thing kind of out of the package. It's a bit tall, so we're gonna have to probably lean a little bit over here. Uh, but yeah, so in terms of packaging, you've got these two foam inserts, you've got some plastic wrap around it. All right, so we got that, buddy. Um, we'll probably flip her over to her top so that Man, these PCs are a lot heavier than you would think they would be. Oh, God. All right. So now we got all of the packaging and everything on it. Um, and you guys can kind of see, it's a pretty nice looking gaming PC. Um, the only damage, you guys might not even be able to see it. Um, the only damage to this PC whatsoever is 
this little leg right here. The plastic got bent in, and I'm assuming this is from shipping. I don't think this is something that would happen uh, if it left their factory, especially to a reviewer like me. Um, but I, I think that uh, USPS probably wasn't too kind with this particular PC. From what I've heard, I think they're changing over to probably like FedEx or UPS instead of USPS. I'm not really a huge fan of USPS for shipping just anything other than a letter. And I think that that's really good that they're changing it. Now you guys can see where this damage came from. Uh, so I'm assuming USPS probably just kind of just dropped this thing around and just let it um, just fall or wherever because the main part of damage is here on this back leg right here. Um, and the foam seems really thin here and I'm assuming that's probably where they hit the ground on it quick and the weight of the PC just kind of crushed that own leg uh, and just crushed the foam right here because it's super thin. Um, and it just kind of broke out the back here. I don't think that's a fault of IWN themselves. It's mainly just a fault of the actual postal service. Now again, I feel like a broken record mentioning this, uh, but if you do want to see the full review, see my opinions on this PC, talk about specs and everything like that, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Really helps me out as a content creator. Um, but let's get this little peel going on here. Hopefully I can get it all in one piece. Hopefully it's in frame. All right. All right, I'm gonna go check if that was in frame because I'm gonna be really upset if it's not. All right, now a couple of things that I'd like to mention about this PC in terms of shipping and just cosmetics, there was no internal packaging. Now, I don't think that's a terrible problem just considering that this GPU itself is not a very heavy one. Um, it's a fairly like mid-tier one and this particular EVGA design on this particular GPU is not very bulky and heavy, though I would have liked to see some sort of foam insert on this system, uh, just to make sure that if people were extra rough with it, that this GPU would not get ripped out of the PCIe slot. I have seen it happen before, it does happen, uh, especially if the GPU is a little bit more heavy. But overall, in terms of condition, this thing turned out pretty well. Um, I, I'm happy with the way that it was shipped, and I think that most of the covers and everything like that um, and in terms of like the dust filters, the case seems fine. Um, there's a lot of fans in here too. And again, we will get into all that stuff here in the review video uh, that should be coming out here in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, so overall, I think the case is fine. Packaging went well. And uh, for the final part of this video, let's plug her on in and see how she looks. All right, so I just plugged in the PC. So hopefully we can see this thing turn on and uh, see some cool RGB lights. So. So yeah, this is how the PC looks when it's powered on. I think it looks pretty dope. Uh, you got all those fans in the front, got an exhaust one here, and you've got a good bit of RGB here. Uh, so for those of you guys who like that, I'm sure uh, the aesthetic of this PC is, is pretty great. All right, so that about ends it for this unboxing. I really like the way this PC looks and I can't wait to do my full review on it. So again, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you guys uh, don't miss out on it when it does come out. And again, thank you guys for watching the video. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to come and watch me unbox a gaming PC. It means a lot to me. And if you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like, it really helps me out. We also have a Discord channel down in the description if you guys have any tech questions. You guys can go and talk to those guys. They're really helpful. A really great community in general as well. We also have streams every Friday, or about every Friday. We had to skip this one because I was on vacation. Uh, but about every Friday, we will have a live stream where you guys can kind of come in, talk to me, do some tech Q&A, ask me about certain builds and stuff like that. And I can kind of help you guys uh, with different build options while we just kind of sit down, play some games, do some PC building simulator and that sort of stuff. So again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.